Yes, a very good evening, guys. We are back. So, in the previous session, I think we have finished off. We have finished off the important chapter of partnership, admission, retirement, death, and all allied concepts of the chapter are done with. So, in this session, or from this session, we are going to start a new chapter that is accounting for non profit organizations. Uh, this chapter was uh, not there before in the CPT syllabus. It has come from CA Inter to CA Foundation. It has been removed from CA Inter as of now. A very simple chapter. This is more on the lines of final accounts. But we will be doing final accounts of not uh, partnership firms or not of uh, proprietary businesses. But we will be doing, we will be doing the final accounts. We will be doing the final accounts of non profit organization so before we start the concepts of the final accounts i'll simply introduce you guys with the concept of what do you mean by non profit organization now npos npos are nothing but uh, organizations whose main objective or whose major objective is not profit Brother. Now we have done uh, 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 final accounts of partnership firms, we have done final accounts of normal uh, sole traders. Now their main intention of doing business is always to earn profits. This means whatever profits they have earned, it is their right to withdraw all the profits or to keep the profits in the uh, firm. It is their choice. Matlab, Pura ka pura profits partners can withdraw, obviously depending on what the agreement says. But uh, Mota Mota, they have all the right to withdraw all the profits. Now this is exactly, uh, uh, that is not the case in case of non-profit organization. Now the main objective if the, of uh, NPOs not being profit, to kya ho sakta hai? Now these organizations are mainly functioning for the benefit of the society. Now what do you mean or what are the examples of this? Examples could be an NPO of uh, say schools, colleges, uh, libraries, uh, hospitals, uh, charitable trusts, uh, temples, churches, mosques as the cases. All these are NPOs. They are not operating for the purpose of making profit. They are for the purpose of uh, the society. Unke benefit ke liye ye in log hai. Having said that, having said that, it does not mean that these uh, uh, these organizations do not earn profits. They earn profits. They are maybe more profitable than the companies also. Then what do you mean by NPO? It means these profits that the NPOs are earning, they cannot be withdrawn by the members of the uh, NPO. NPO ke liye partners nahi hoga, NPO ke liye shareholders nahi hoga. They are called members who promote or start the NPO. So whatever profits, whatever profits the NPOs are earning, these profits are simply kept within the NPO for the purpose for which the NPO has been started. So agar tumhara ek NPO hai, say, uh, which is a hospital, so and if it earns a profit of say 10 lakhs in the year, I'm saying this 10 lakhs cannot be withdrawn by the members. It will stay in the in the NPO for the betterment or for the purpose only of hospital. Ye apna example tha of NPO. Brother, now iska zada uh, detailed uh, legal analysis la karna nahi apne ko. We, what we are concerned what we are concerned is as far as accounting is concerned so now we all know what npo is now we will directly come to the chapter as to what we are doing in this chapter as i said we are doing final accounts of npo which means all concepts which had been learnt in final accounts everything will be copied and pasted as far as npo is concerned the first couple of sums are not even based on final accounts. They are simply based on a couple of adjustments that are made in this chapter. So first two, three sums are not fully final accounts based, but they are adjustment based. So once we start the proper, proper final accounts, we will go in depth. Barabar. So I'll just tell you guys what uh, books of accounts NPOs maintain. Now NPOs maintain something called as uh, receipts and payments book now as the word says it's a simple ledger it's a simple book having all the receipts and payments frankly it's more like a cash book it starts from opening balance it has all the cash receipts then it has all the cash payments be it capex be it opex it's basically a cash account and it ends with a closing cash balance so opening cash add receipts less all payments any kind of payments and balance is nothing but the closing cash this is one thing maintained by the npo 
and the second thing that is maintained by the npo is nothing but something called as an income and expenditure account now the income and expenditure account is exactly in sync with the profit and loss account whatever are the concepts of profit loss account everything comes in the income expenditure account there will be sales there will be income there will be expenses there will be adjustment for expenses like outstanding prepaid there will be depreciation on the assets if any there will be traveling expenses salaries rent uh, payments uh, repairs uh, depreciation everything whatever you normally find in the profit loss account everything will be coming in the income expenditure account bank interest income bank interest expense everything and then uh, uh, whatever profits whatever profits you normally used to find for a trader you will now find in the income and expenditure account and the name given to profits is not profits but they will be called a surplus so an income expenditure account will either give a surplus surplus obviously happens when the income exceeds the expenses or it may also have a deficit when the expenditure exceeds the income surplus is the profit and deficit is the loss but we don't name it profit and loss because the main objective of such organizations is not profit so we have just given different type of names Okay, this is the pure pure basics of the chapter. We are not into purchase and sale. We are not into manufacturing probably, but we are generally providing a service. Service can be a college, school, hospital. All these things are generally NPOs, and we have to do the final accounts of the NPOs. अपने को डेटा में दिया होगा रिसीट्स एंड पेमेंट्स अकाउंट. We will be given a list of adjustments, like the way we used to have a list. of adjustments for final accounts and we have to give the effects of the adjustments we have to do the posting of the recent payment account and when we have to prepare income expenditure account in order to find the uh, the surplus or the deficit last thing where does the surplus and deficit go like usual you always transfer surplus or deficit to the closing balance sheet and you simply add to capital as i said this surplus cannot be withdrawn by the partners it always has to be kept in the npo for furthering the objectives of the npo which is just not to make profits ठीक है ये था अपना बेसिक्स द फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चंस द फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चंस के लिए इतना ही थियोरी काफी है बराबर व्हेन वी गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज ऑन प्रॉपर प्रॉपर फाइनल अकाउंट्स सो व्हेन वी स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर आई गिव यू अ जिस्ट एज टू हाउ थिंग्स वर्क इन केस ऑफ फाइनल अकाउंट्स मोस्टली मैंने सब कवर कर दिया है बट सिंपली अ स्मॉल थिंग आई इंट्रोड्यूस यू गाइज वेन आई स्टार्ट द फाइनल अकाउंट्स का क्वेश्चन so as of now itna theory itna introduction is more than enough to understand the first three questions i think in the first question we'll be simply making a receipts and payments account that is more like a cash book in the second and third question we'll be simply dealing with a part of the main question matlab main question to hoga hi obviously but uh, uh, question number 2 and question number 3 are mainly for adjustments to understand how to solve the final accounts ke questions ठीक है ये अपना हो गया व्हाट इज एनपीओ आई हैव सिंपली टोल्ड यू गाइस व्हाट आर द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स ऑफ एनपीओ यू हैव इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट एंड यू हैव अ रिसीट पेमेंट अकाउंट एंड ऑब्वियसली फॉलोड बाय अ बैलेंस शीट एंड नाउ हैविंग दिस बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनपीओ इट इज मोर देन एनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चंस सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन 1 2 and 3 and then we will be going to question number 4 which is based on final accounts ठीक है चालू करेंगे होपफुली यस सो विद दिस इन माइंड वी विल स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स और फाइनल अकाउंट्स ऑफ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 before we start question number 4 मतलब 1 2 3 के बाद obviously i want you guys to just go through this theory whatever is mentioned in this theory i have simply explained you guys uh, that is rnp account that is recent payment account i have told you about the income expenditure account and i have also told you guys about the balance sheet so only read only read up to this point let me draw a line signifying kahan tak padhna hai tum log sirf yahan tak padho once once we start question number 4 Before we start question number फोर उसके वीडियो के पहले आई विल रीड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सम इम्पोर्टेंट आइटम्स बट वो होने के पहले आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू रीड दिस फर्स्ट वन एंड हाफ पेजेस आफ्टर दिस वीडियो 
वन टू थ्री होने के बाद यू गाइज रीड अप टू यर एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट टूगेदर फ्रॉम ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सम इम्पॉर्टेंट आइटम्स ठीक है सो फॉर सॉल्विंग द फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन नो एक्सपर्ट नॉलेज इज रिक्वायर्ड बहुत ही बेसिक लेवल के सम्स है वंस यू रीड द क्वेश्चन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट फ्रेंकली एन पी ओ का इंट्रोडक्शन का भी जरूरत नहीं है टू स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन वन टू एंड थ्री एंड आई थिंक क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर जो है इट्स अ रिपीट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज द सेम सो दिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस क्वेश्चन विल नॉट बी सॉल्व बिकॉज दैट इज सिमिलर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच मीन्स वील स्किप दिस क्वेश्चन एंड डायरेक्टली गो टू फाइव आफ्टर वी सॉल्व वन टू एंड थ्री यस चालू करेंगे होपफुली यस Let us start reading question number one. We are solving the chapter of financial statements of NPO. I have simply introduced you guys by what do you mean by non-profit organizations. And as far as accounting is concerned, it is more than enough to understand the first couple of questions. So now let's start. Question number one is what we are starting. Now the receipts and payments for Swaraj Club for Swaraj Club for the year thirty-first March sixteen. So financial year fifteen sixteen के बारे में details. दिया है वर एंट्रेंस फीस 300 ठीक है मेंबरशिप फीस 3000 ठीक है डोनेशन फॉर क्लब पेविलियन 10000 ठीक है फूड स्टफ सेल्स 1200 ठीक है सैलरीज एंड वेजेस 1200 परचेस ऑफ फूड 800 कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ क्लब 11000 जनरल एक्सपेंसेस 600 रेंट एंड रेट्स 400 बैंक चार्जेस 160 ठीक है कैश इन हैंड फर्स्ट अप्रैल 200 थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च थ्री फिफ्टी कैश इन बैंक फर्स्ट अप्रिल फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च फाइव नाइन्टी सो इफ एट ऑल आई हैव द ओपनिंग बैलेंस इफ आई हैव द क्लोजिंग बैलेंस इफ आई हैव द रिसीट्स एंड पेमेंट्स आइडियली द रिसीट्स एंड पेमेंट्स शुड टैली बिकॉज इट्स मोर लाइक अ कैश अकाउंट कैश अकाउंट में होता ही क्या है ओपनिंग रिसीट्स पेमेंट्स क्लोजिंग सो आउट ऑफ दीज फोर थिंग्स ओपनिंग रिसीट्स पेमेंट्स क्लोजिंग इफ ऑल द फोर थिंग्स आर गिवन टू अस इन दिस क्वेश्चन दिस अकाउंट शुड आइडियली टैली बराबर सो नॉर्मली एन पी ओ का मेजर सोर्स ऑफ इनकम नॉर्मली मेजर द सोर्स ऑफ इनकम ऑफ एन पी ओज इज कमिंग थ्रू डोनेशन बिकॉज सिंस यू आर वर्किंग फॉर नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट देन यू कैन हैव अ राइट टू आस्क फॉर डोनेशन पीपल हु आर वेल्दी नॉर्मली टेंड टू डोनेट टू एन पी ओज इफ द कॉज इज क्लोज टू देयर हार्ट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर अज इफ इट्स एडुकेशन सो एडुकेशन बींग वेरी क्लोज टू अज वी मे डोनेट समथिंग इन केस ऑफ एनी एन पी ओज हु आर इन टू एडुकेशन सो मेजर सोर्स ऑफ इनकम मेजर सोर्स ऑफ इनकम एज फार एज एन पी ओज इज कंसर्न इज ऑब्वियसली सर्विसेज अपार्ट फ्रॉम सर्विसेज डोनेशन इज ऑल्सो दे आर इनकम सो यू कैन पोस्ट डोनेशन इन द इनकम अकाउंट वंस वी डू इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट ये सिर्फ एडिशन नॉलेज था बिकॉज आई रेड समथिंग लाइक डोनेशन बट एज फार एज दिस सम इज कंसर्न वी आर ओनली डूइंग रिसीट्स एंड पेमेंट्स सो एनी काइंड ऑफ कैश इन फ्लो एड टू रिसीट्स any kind of cash outflow at two payments and then find the closing balance which is given so account should tally theek hai so what we'll do is we'll simply prepare a receipts and payments account it is more like exactly a cash book one column receipts and one column payments and obviously it will start from opening closing balances so let us draw a straight line from here theek hai theek hai we are solving ek minute We are solving question number one: receipts and payments. ठीक है. It's a question on R N P. So मैं लिख दिया. So now let us prepare a receipts and payments account. It should be for probably half a page. Should be sufficient. Here we are going to have receipts. Rupees. Payments. Rupees. A receipts and payments account generally starts. A receipts and payments account generally starts with opening balance. So leave some space for opening balances. Okay. 
चालू करेंगे होपफुली द रूलिंग इज डन लेट एस नाउ स्टार्ट विद द पोस्टिंग ऑल आई हैव टू डू इज रीड द क्वेश्चन अगर कुछ रिसीट्स है तो रिसीट साइड अगर कुछ पेमेंट्स है तो पेमेंट साइड एंड वेल दैट्स इट एंट्रेंस फीस रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ एंट्रेंस फीस इज मोर लाइक माई कैश इनफ्लो बिकॉज आई विल नॉट पे एंट्रेंस फीस समी इज गोइंग टू पे मी एंट्रेंस फीस मैं एक एन पी ओ हूँ एन पी ओ इज नॉट गोइंग टू पे सम फीस टू नॉट पे सम फीस समवेयर इट्स गोइंग टू रिसीव सम एंट्रेंस फीस पीपल वॉन्ट टू एंटर दिस एन पी ओ सो दे आर पेइंग सम एंट्रेंस फीस इट्स अ क्लब सो लीव टू लाइन फॉर ओपनिंग क्लोजिंग लाइक फॉर ओपनिंग बैलेंसेस टू एंट्रेंस फीस 300 ठीक है ये अपना एंट्रेंस फीस हो गया मेंबरशिप फीस 3000 वन मोर कैश इनफ्लो रिसीट्स सो सम मेंबर्स वांट टू जॉइन द क्लब वी मस्ट हैव केप्ट सम मेंबरशिप फीस एंड दैट इज रुपीस 3000 दैट्स माय कैश इनफ्लो कैश अंदर आया डोनेशंस फॉर क्लब पेविलियन नाउ समबडी मस्ट हैव सो आई विल नॉट डोनेट I will receive donations because uh, 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 कोई पेविलियन क्लब होगा जिसके लिए मुझे कुछ खर्चा uh, 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 करना होगा सो पीपल मस्ट बी डोनेटिंग फॉर मी टू स्पेंड ऑन अ पेविलियन सो डोनेशन फॉर क्लब पेविलियन इज मोर लाइक अ कैश इनफ्लो टू डोनेशन ब्रैकेट क्लब अपियर्स टू बी टेन थाउजेंड ये अपना हो गया डोनेशन then food stuff sales sales is going to be my cash inflow i'm, I'm assuming these are my cash sales so buy food sales 1200 rupya oh sorry kahan gaya dekha maine bol raha hu it's a cash inflow aur main likha payments mein by mistake two food sales cash inflow okay then you have salaries and wages 1200 it's a payment so by salary and wages 1200 theek hai then you have purchase of food stuff 800 purchase is more like a payment by purchase of food 800 cash is going out theek hai then we have a uh, construction of pavilion club 11000 it's a kharcha by club construction 11000 ye apna ho gaya construction of clubs uh, pavilion then we have general expenses 600 so again payments by general expenses 600 ye bhi chala gaya then we have uh, rent and taxes 400 it's a cash outflow by rent slash taxes 400 ye bhi chala gaya then we have bank charges 160 payments by bank charges 160 ye bhi chala gaya then what next cash in hand first april 200 is an opening it's an opening cash balance that's why i had left some space for that so it is two balance brought down cash What was the amount? Two hundred. ठीक है. And thirty-first uh, March three fifty. ये closing है. So it is by balance carried down cash three fifty done. Then we have uh, cash in bank. First April four hundred. Opening balance bank. 400 and closing bank is 590 and well that's it opening cash posted all the receipts posted all the payments posted 
and well that is the end of the receipts and payments account anything more you require to prepare receipts and payments account and uh, receipts and payments is what we have prepared balance sheet uh, balance sheet well, no, rnb account should tally and i have left my calculator somewhere else 200 400 600 6 and 3 900 3900 13900 13900 plus 1000 14009 plus 2 appears to be 15100 1200 800 2000 11000 plus 2 13 13000 plus 1000 14000 14000 14,000, 14,500, 14,800, 14,900 and uh, upper cut 200 rupiah ho gaya, 15,100. As I said, the RNP account has tallied. Ideally, they shouldn't have given us the closing balances, in which case the balancing figures would represent closing balances or they could have mentioned that some expense is balancing figure, in which case opening, closing, expense and uh, your receipts are known so some balancing figure could represent some payment so all we had to do is simply make a cash book i have simply given fancy names of receipts and payments but that is what the npos are doing they have one uh, one ledger of receipts and payments and then they have one more ledger of income expenditure account and this is how they are maintaining their books of accounts and this is the end of question number one fairly simple is me frankly hey me question like this are not going to come in the exams for obvious reasons they coffee simple tha. so this is your receipts and payments account ka first sum where I simply introduce you guys to how a receipts and payments generally looks like now this RNP account would be generally given to us in the question they will be giving some adjustments as well and then using the receipts and payments and using the adjustments we will prepare the income and expenditure account for the firm to find out the uh, the surplus or deficit okay so question number one is gone let us see question number two ke andar kya hai. question number two includes a concept of subscription so I'll first introduce you guys to the basics of subscription and then we will proceed with the question number two now let us talk about subscriptions now what do you mean by subscriptions now as far as a club or an npo is concerned subscription is nothing but what the members are paying to subscribe or be a part of the club or the npo now for example we are an npo of say a library brother and suppose there are many um, uh, avid readers in the uh, vicinity so they would obviously like the fact that somebody is funding the library so they would want to be members of this library so what they do is they will subscribe to library they may even donate for this library and that is how they may become the members bottom line any member when he subscribes to an npo by paying some amount he becomes a subscriber and subscription is a major source of income for an npo Apne ho kya karna hai? Apne ko subscription amount due is more like sales for us. Now, what is the main source of income of a sole trader company? The sales, matlab, sale of goods. So, ye sales tumhara goes in the trading account credit side. Similarly, the main source of income generally of clubs or NPOs are the subscriptions. So, subscription is a major component in the income side of the income and expenditure account. So, apne ko subscription ka outer column ka number find karna hai. Like the way we always post sales due in the trading account, we need to also find out subscriptions due and post in the income column of the income and expenditure account. Now, I will focus on focus because every question is going to have a an adjustment rather of subscription to be earned ka find out karne ke liye. so all this will obviously be a part of the questions but conceptually the subscriptions due the subscriptions due is going to be the income in the income and expenditure account INE account Brava? So, I have to subscription due find karna hota hai. now how to find subscriptions due there are four components of subscriptions due. Ek bar tumko ye malum pada concept, to all sums will be very very simple. So, thoda dhyan do and samjho ki how we are going to find subscriptions due. Now, first first aspect, we are first going to receive 
subscriptions in cash or bank let's assume this amount is rupees 10000 first understand one thing ki is 10000 ka matlab kya this 10000 eventually means physically apne uh, apunne kitna subscription receive kar diya hai this is pure pure cash inflow barabar this is cash uh, received and put in the bank account physical physical cash received ye definitely apna income hai because this is cash received barabar lekin isme thode complications hai is it possible is it possible that 10000 may se barabar 1000 has been received of the previous year is it possible first of all is yes or no is it possible yes or no the answer is yes like the way debtors make uh, the payments in the current year for a debt pertaining to the previous year some members will also physically pay in the current year for membership fees or subscription fees of the previous year abhi ye jo previous year ka income aaya hai ye frankly ye saal ka income nahi hai na barabar so this is an income which is received but this income pertains to previous year this income must have been booked in the previous year which means i need to reduce this from my 10000 because this is not a part of my current year income the focus is on the word income 1000 jo 10 uh, uh, 10000 ke andar ka part hai main example de raha hu 10000 mein agar 1000 pertains to previous year 10000 is a receipt 10000 ke andar 1000 is a receipt but mujhe income find karna hai 1000 is previous year's income so i should reduce i should reduce any income received now which is my 1000 in my example which pertains to previous year and can i name this can i name this as outstanding income or outstanding subscription at the beginning of the year yes why because this was outstanding for the previous year so this will be carried forward from the previous year to this year so this is nothing but outstanding subscription of the previous year and ye ye saal ke income ka part nahi hai that is why we will subtract this or less this so this subtraction is what i will do from 1000 because 1000 is a part of 10000 10000 ke andar ek aisa income hai jo ye saal ka income hai nahi so subtract kar dene ka so i would do minus outstanding subscription of the previous year or outstanding subscription as at the beginning of the current year because last time's closing is this time's opening theek hai aage badhenge now is it possible is it possible that we have received an income being subscription in this year matlab 10000 ke andar hai wo but that pertains to the next year somebody has paid us in advance but ye jo income hai wo next year ka hai na kyunki somebody has paid subscription currently of the next year he had some surplus cash wo bolta hai theek hai tum paisa le lo tum next year mein adjust karo hum bolenge theek hai humne cash collect kar liya like the way i collect the fees in advance this club must have uh, uh, collected the subscription fees in advance but is this current year's income the answer is no so this is income received in advance for the next year Bravo. that means this is more this is more like a prepaid income so this is this is prepaid subscription this is prepaid subscription of the current year ki current year ka prepaid kiya hai kisi ne but this is at the end and this was at the beginning and because ye saal kisi ne prepaid kiya hai to ye saal mein as of now it is prepaid for the next year right so this is a part of 10000 but it should not be a part of 10000 because this is next year's income so i should subtract this also let's take an example of say 1500 ye bhi less karna padega so bracket mein jayega ye bhi so outstanding in the beginning and prepaid at the end is supposed to be subtracted from the cash received because these were a part of cash received but my job is to find the income and not the receipt in the income and expenditure account Barabar? Aage badenge. now is it possible that some subscription is due for the current year but then people have not paid possible to hai. it is outstanding so this is nothing but outstanding subscription 
this is outstanding subscription of the current year as at the end of the current year now should we sub uh, 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 should we add this or subtract this we should add this because 10000 ke andar hai nahi tum bolo tumko kaise pata nahi hai are because it outstanding hai. that means people have not paid if people have not paid that means we have not received so this is not a part of 10000 but it should be a part of my income so i'm going to add this let's assume this number is say 2500 so i will add this barabar this is supposed to be added ye apna ho gaya because this is income due my job is to add because 10000 ke andar ye nahi hai but this pertains to current year's income so my job is to add it done last thing is it possible is it possible that we have we have received dance suno is it possible that we have received some of the subscription of this year इन द इन द प्रीवियस ईयर इट सेल्फ मतलब जैसे मैंने नेक्स्ट ईयर का सब्सक्रिप्शन आज रिसीव कर दिया इन एडवांस समबडी मस्ट हैव गिवन मी दिस ईयर सब्सक्रिप्शन लास्ट ईयर इट सेल्फ मतलब आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिसीव दिस इन द प्रीवियस ईयर मतलब दिस इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड क्योंकि ये मैंने रिसीव किया है लास्ट ईयर एंड टेन थाउजेंड रिसीव किया है आज बट सिंस आई हैव रिसीव समथिंग लास्ट ईयर pertaining to this year that must have not gone in last year's income because it is a part of this year's income it is this year's subscription paid in advance in the previous year so obviously it is not a part of 10000 and since it pertains to this year it should be a part of income so my job is to also add prepaid subscription of the previous year in the beginning sorry ye apna hoga in the beginning and let's say this was rupees say 4000 ye apne ye bhi add karna padega and ye sab add less karne ke baad we will actually get whatever number we'll get 10000 minus 1000 minus 1500 plus 2500 plus 4000 ye sab add less karne ke baad we'll actually get we will actually get something called as income due and this income due is going to enter the income and expenditure account barabar so i need to know so i need to know all these things because all these things are going to come in every question of npo that is ine account ke andar ye apne ko match karna hi padega barabar so so we have to add subscriptions we have to add subscriptions at the end we have to add prepaid in the beginning we have to less uh, subscription at the beginning and we have to less subscription at the end and ye sab karne ke baad we will get the income which is due for the npo for the current year this final amount will go in the outer column of the income expenditure account in the income side of the ledger ठीक है सो ये चार चीज एंड हैव टू बी एडजस्टेड विद द कैश रिसीव्ड ओनली देन ओनली देन विल वी फाइंड द इनकम ड्यू ठीक है दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड फ्रेंकली दिस इज गोइंग टू बी कमिंग इन एवरी क्वेश्चन सो अपना हर एक क्वेश्चन में ये कॉन्सेप्ट प्रैक्टिस होगा ही होगा bottom line i need to find the income due and any opening closing outstanding or prepaid have to be adjusted before we post the amount in the income side of the income and expenditure account sorted hopefully yes with this in mind with this in mind we will be jumping towards question number 2 where we are simply focusing on subscription taki tumhara subscription ka funda proper clear ho jaye all set hopefully yes let us start let us start question number 2 and it is completely on subscription we are not doing final accounts let us read during 2016 subscription received in cash is 42000 ye physical cash received hai this may include something in advance of the next year this may include cash received now pertaining to previous year this will exclude outstanding and this will exclude something received previously pertaining to this year so all this have to be adjusted before we find the income due theek hai it includes 1600 for 2015 that means 2015 outstanding dekha abhi mil chuka rahega it includes 600 for 2017 see we are in 16 right we are in 16 ye wala 
we are in 16 we have received something of 15 and we have received something of 17 but this and this are not this year's income okay also 3000 also 3000 is still to be received matlab ye receive nahi hua so all we have to do is adjust 42,000 and get the amounts which is actually due as far as income is concerned. Very simple. Uh, start with 42, adjust all these three numbers and you will get the outer column number. We are solving question number 2. Very simple. I didn't read that. Compute the amount to be credited to INE account. So okay. Calculation of. subscriptions due or subscription due likhna likh sakte ho income for the income and expenditure account theek hai one column particulars one column rupees should be sufficient hardly four five lines I would say subscription received I think 42,000 directly mentioned 42,000 it includes Sola so far 15 Malab somebody has paid us 1600 which is pertaining to previous year but now they have paid Malab if they have paid now it's a part of 42,000 which means I need to subtract that less outstanding in the beginning 1600 why in the beginning because this is last times last times closing outstanding is this times opening outstanding TK what next and it also includes cheso for 2017 that means somebody has paid cheso rupiah but this is pertaining to next year since we have received this it's a part of 42 but pertains to next year so when you subtract it so less prepaid in the end 600 rupees ye bhi less hai ye bhi less hai and then it mentions 3000 is still to be received if 3000 is still to be received that means it's definitely not a part of 42000 but if it is pertaining to 2016 it's a part of current year's income so my job is to also add it back add outstanding in the end 3000 and that is how you are going to get the subscription due 42,000 uh, plus 3000 is 45,000 45,000 minus 2.2 is 42,800 this is my income due this is going to go in the income side of income and expenditure account just for reference you can write this ki iska relevance kya hai this is going to go in the outer column of the income and expenditure account then outstanding in the beginning this would be in the opening balance sheet ka liability side prepaid in the end this would be in the closing balance sheet ka asset side and outstanding in the end 3000 this would be in the closing balance sheet ka liability side that is outstanding liability this is how we will uh, do the final accounts as well because we need to know where all these items are actually going in the books of accounts as well but obviously all these things will be more clear when we actually do a question on final accounts of an entire NPO so question one is gone question number two is gone now time has come time has come to solve question number three and that will be the end of today's session okay let us start question number three please question number three oh cancel okay unfortunately Are let us start suppose salary is paid during 2016 matlab paid mention kar diya hai, is 23000 the fact that they are paid matlab they have gone from the cash and bank account physical physical payment cash outflow ho chuka hai theek hai the following further information is available salaries unpaid on 31st of march beech mein space missing hai but it's legible so salaries unpaid on 31st of march 15 matlab last year itna salaries outstanding tha 
31st March 2015 is as good as saying 1st April 15 because it just salary is brought down as outstanding. So, you have opening outstanding. Hai. Hai. Prepaid on 2015 is 400. Unpaid on 16 is 1800. And prepaid in 16 in uh, uh, Sola So. All we have to find is the amount to be debited in the income expenditure account as far as salaries is concerned. This is more like a final accounts adjustment. We always need to find. We always need to find the expense due or the expense accrued as far as the PNL is concerned. So all we have to adjust is opening, closing, outstanding, opening, closing, prepaid, and we will get the expense due to be posted in the profit loss account debit side because that's an expense. So let us have the same kind of working. Question number three. Okay. So one column particulars and dusra column is rupees. Okay. Let us start from salaries paid. Always all the adjustments have to start from salaries paid. That appears to be 23,000 as given to us directly in the question. Okay. Then salaries unpaid on 31st March 15. Some salaries were not paid in the 15 that is previous year. So we'll assume that first salaries will be paid pertaining to unpaid salaries. Matlab mere payments mein, that is 23,000 ke under this amount of 1400 would be a part and this pertains to previous year so it is not current year's expense so i will subtract this as less outstanding in the beginning amount was what 1400 this has been paid that means ye 23000 ka ek part hai but this pertains to previous year because this was outstanding in the previous year so it is not a part of my expense in current year so i will subtract it theek hai ye apna ho gaya then uh, prepaid on 15 matlab some salaries were paid in the last year but they pertain to current year so does that mean it is current year's expense the answer is yes because it pertains to current year but then they have been paid last year which means it is not a part of 23000 but my job is to find the expense so i will add because this is not a part of 23000 so i will add prepaid in the beginning amount appears to be 400. This logic is that it pertains to current year, then it should be a part of payments, but then it has been paid last year, so it is not a part of payments. My job is to find the expense and not just the payment, so include that in the expense account, so add it in 23,000. Okay, then the next day we have then unpaid on 16 it is normal outstanding salaries you have to do in final accounts mein. expenses paid are under trial balance outstanding is always added because that is not a part of payment so my job is to include them in payment so i will add outstanding in the end amount appears to be 1800 so 1800 and then this is also then 600 is prepaid in the end again it's more like a prepaid expense I have payment kar diya hai. that means it is a part of 23,000 but then it is prepaid for the next year it is a next year's expense so excluded from current year it's a part of 23 so my job is to subtract it as less prepaid in the end amount appears to be 600 I will subtract it and total salary due so 23000 uh, minus 1400 and plus is uh, minus 1000 so 22000 22000 and plus 1200 23200 dekho ek bar amount barabar i am just doing orally it can be wrong but then it is just add less adjust kar lo tum agar mistake hai to that is total salary due and this is again going to enter the expense side of the income 
and expenditure account you can write this for reference ki where does this amount go this amount goes in the expense side of the income and expenditure account and that is the end of question number 3 as well salary is paid me say adjust opening closing outstanding and adjust opening closing prepaid as well and this is how we find the uh, the salaries due and that is going to go in the outer column of the income and expenditure account so question number 3 is also done i think apne ko pucha hai some necessary ledger accounts as well so ledger accounts is nothing but nothing but apna uh, salary account so let us make a salary account fatafat jahan pe add less kiya hai so yahi apne ko karna hoga this is a salary account so what i'll do is to cash bank that is 23000 to prepaid salary to prepaid in the beginning because ye add karna hai apne ko 400 it is transferred from prepaid a uh, two salary so uh, prepaid is an asset to mujhe salary debit karna padega and asset close karna padega that is two prepaid then um, add outstanding in the end so two outstanding salaries in the end 1800 by outstanding in the beginning this is 1400 ye apna liability hai isko close karna padega by debiting it so outstanding salary account debit to salary it basically a transfer from outstanding account to the expense account and then by prepaid in the end isko adjust karna because ye salary ke andar baitha hua hai isko nikalna padega 600 and balancing figure is ultimately going to be transferred to income and expenditure account balancing figure 23200 no magic but obviously add less kar rahe to yahi amount aayega apne ko and that is how that is how we transfer the salary expense to the income and expenditure account theek hai ye apna ho gaya salary account and ye apna ho gaya the maths as far as salary is concerned and that is the end of question number 1 2 and 3 theek hai in the next session we are going to start with proper proper final accounts ठीक है